In this episode, we'll guide you through the process of EQing a snare drum, helping you achieve that perfect balance and clarity in your mix. The snare is a vital element in any drum arrangement, providing the punch, crack, and character that define the groove. So, let's grab our EQ plugins and explore the techniques to take your snare sound to the next level. Before we start tweaking the frequencies, it's crucial to understand the different tonal areas of the snare that we'll be focusing on. The snare drum covers a wide range of frequencies, from the lows to the highs. Our goal is to shape these frequencies and bring out the desired characteristics, such as body, attack, and brightness. We'll begin by addressing the low-end rumble that can muddy up our snare sound. Using a high-pass filter, we can roll off the unnecessary low frequencies below the snare's fundamental tone. By gradually increasing the cutoff frequency, we retain the body while removing the rumble, giving the snare drum more clarity and definition. Remember, be cautious when applying the high-pass filter, as removing too much low end can make the snare sound thin or unnatural. Trust your ears and find the balance that complements the rest of your mix. Now that we've tamed the low end, let's focus on the mid-range frequencies. This is where the snare drum's attack and body reside, and we want them to cut through the mix without overpowering other elements. We can achieve this by using a parametric EQ. If you find your snare lacking attack, try boosting around the 2 to 4 kHz range to emphasize the snappy transients. If the snare sounds boxy or too pronounced in the mids, consider cutting around 400 to 800 Hz to reduce the unwanted resonance. Remember, each snare drum recording is unique, so it's essential to trust your ears and adjust the EQ settings accordingly. Don't be afraid to experiment and find the sweet spot that complements the overall mix. Now that we've shaped the lows and mids, let's move on to the highs. This is where we can add brightness and sizzle to our snare. Using a shelving EQ or a gentle boost in the upper frequencies can enhance the snare's presence and ensure it cuts through the mix. By boosting around the 8 to 12 kHz range, we can add that desired shimmer and airiness to the snare. However, be careful not to overdo it, as excessive high frequencies can lead to a harsher piercing sound. Always maintain a balanced and natural tonal response. Remember, the high frequency adjustments should complement the overall mix and suit the genre and style of the song. It's all about finding the right balance and ensuring the snare sits comfortably in the sonic landscape. Lastly, let's discuss adding presence to the snare. This technique involves a gentle boost in the upper mid-range frequencies, typically around 5 kHz. It helps to bring out the snare's attack and adds a sense of clarity and definition. By delicately shaping the presence frequencies, we can make the snare sound more articulate, allowing it to cut through the mix with precision. However, like with any EQ adjustment, moderation is key. Don't go overboard, as it may result in an unnatural or harsh sound. Remember, EQing is an art form, and every snare requires a unique approach. Trust your ears, take your time, and always refer back to the context of the mix. It's all about achieving a cohesive and balanced sound. We hope you've learned some valuable techniques to enhance your snare sound and take your mixes to new heights. Remember to practice, experiment, and trust your instincts. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more exciting tutorials. Until next time, happy mixing!